You're now tuned into Kofi's Universe since you're just sitting on Uranus. This is the number one YouTube channel for hip hop culture news, informed black social issues, song reaction videos, and even comedy. So be sure to like this post. And if you haven't already subscribed, do so right about now. Razzcast. YouTube salute. T Pain comes out and speaks on black history. He expressed his sentiments saying, we want to be a part of history, not just one month of it. All right, we're going to talk about it. If you're new to my channel, thumbs up the video, hit the subscribe button, click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. Please check out Cordae's from a bird's eye view review in the album review playlist. So T-Pain, you know, he come on the heels of bomb threats issued to a slew of HBCUs and the threats made right as Black History Month was beginning to kick into gear, reminding him that this is nothing new. He expressed that the threats were just another means of scaring black students, taking measures to prevent them from getting an education. This is not in any way, shape or form a surprise to those aware of what's going on. Chances are occurrences like this won't go away anytime soon. But T-Pain believes the only way to change some of these happenings is for us to make our own shit. HBCUs or Black History Month for that matter weren't created by black people. Maybe with our own direction, things will begin to take shape in a new way. Masterpiece spoke and wanted to own an HBCU before, and maybe that would engender some positive change. So, this is my thing. First and foremost, let me explain something. T Pain, if it wasn't for um, the father of black history, Dr. Carr G. Woodson, who was the second African American to attain a PhD, yes, he created Negro. History Week in February, and he wanted to actually acknowledge Frederick Douglass and Abraham Lincoln's birthdays. That's why he created that. And years after that, that was around what in the 1920s. Just wanted to let you know that happened in the 1920s. I'm gonna believe it's 1926. So that's when we had, yeah, it was February 1926. We had Negro History Week, and from there. Um, we get Black History Month a couple of decades later because um, Woodson never viewed the study of Black History as something that could be confined to a week. So after that was, you know, his research and articles was being, you know, expanded to public celebration of the African American heritage and achievements into a longer event. So with the rise of civil rights and black power movements in the 60s, that's when Negro History Week became officially made the shift to Black History Month. And that was from members of the HSNLH, which is Association of the Study of African American History, urged the organization to change with the times. So that's how we had the month. So they didn't give us nothing. So let's clarify that. They didn't give us nothing. So Gerald Ford in 1976, the president at that time, he issued a proclamation honoring the spirit of the Black History Month, saying the celebration enabled people to seize the opportunity to honor the too often neglected accomplishments of Black Americans in every of endeavor throughout our history. So... Do we want to say that? Okay, whatever. Let, let the president say what they want to say. But my thing is, black people, our ancestors have fought for so many things. This is like, oh, we feel sorry for y'all. We're going to give you Negro History Week. We're going to give you Black History Month. We're going to give you Pan-African Studies at, you know, some HBCUs or some Cal State Universities or any university or community college in America. No, it doesn't work like that. You know, my thing is, T-Pain, I got love for you and all as a black man, but you were miseducated on the topic of 
You can be smart, you can have all the money in the world, but you can still be miseducated. Black people, when they celebrate Black History Month, is not saying for 11 months they don't care about Black History. It's that one month you shine a light on. It's like your birthday. You know you're the same age throughout the year, but when your birthday come around, you celebrate that day because it's another chapter in your life. Black History Month is acknowledging the past ancestors, but you're creating black history every day, every second, every minute, every hour. You're creating your own history. You're writing your own history out. So, yes, we shouldn't celebrate it for the month as far as only for the month, but at the same time, we're not going to beg the education system to, hey, can y'all can y'all do this for the school systems? Yes. Black people have fought to try to get the curriculum changed, all that. And I've been there to see it and everything. But my thing is this. It's bigger than getting the curriculum changed. It's bigger than what you want them to educate us on. It's, for, it's our responsibility to educate ourselves. You know, like Malcolm X said, you got to be self-sufficient. You know, a lot of people don't know about Ella Baker, who was the nuts and bolts of the civil rights movement. It wasn't MLK, it was Ella Baker. Some people don't know about Stokely Carmichael, a.k.a. Kwame Ture. You know, he coined the term black power. A lot of people don't know about Thomas Sankara, Patrice Lumumba, Emil Kabar. <laughs> you know, they don't know about these prominent black leaders throughout the African diaspora. A lot of people don't know about Nat Turner, Denmark Bessie, Gabriel Prosser, Toussaint Le Overture, Jean Jack Dessalines. You know, what they teach you in black history as far as throughout the month, they'll teach you about, you know, the passive Malcolm, excuse me, passive Martin Luther King Jr. They might mention Malcolm X, but they're going to teach you what they want to teach you. They want to mention Frederick Douglass, but they're not going to tell you Fred, Frederick Douglass be his slave master ass. Yes. And how he taught himself how to read. And how he said the 4th of July. And he was against the 4th of July. Are they going to teach you that? No, they're not going to teach you that. That's why they keep all this information in the book. They don't want black people being educated. Because once the mind is there. And it, it can be, you know, like a, like a light bulb. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. They, they don't want you knowing, you know, certain things. They want you knowing, you know, what they want to teach you. They want to teach you, you know, the thing they'll say, like, this is what you need to know, and that's it. So you can't um, just rely on the system to do something. Even Carter G. Wilson said, if you can control a man's thinking, you do not have to worry about his action. When you determine what a man shall think, you do not have to you do not have to be concerned yourself about what he will do. If you make a man feel that he is inferior, you do not have to compile him to accept an inferior status. He will seek it himself. If you make a man think that he is justly an outcast, you do not have to order him to the back door. He will go without being told. If there is no back door, his very nature will demand one. Carter G. Wilson wrote that in The Miseducation of the Negro. If I never checked that book out, please check that book out. And he talked about that. The black man, his mind, his thinking is going to think of not trying to be superior. He's going to, I'm inferior and I'm going to always go look for the back door. So in this situation, what do we do? We must educate ourselves. I have a bachelor's degree in Africana Studies from Cal State University, Dominguez Hills. I'm blessed to have that. Everybody doesn't have that opportunity. There's people that have PhDs. There's people that have master's and BAs. There's people that make more money than me. Do I feel like I'm more educated than them? To a certain degree, not all people, but it depends who those people are. So it's a case-by-case -case scenario, so I'm not going to disrespect other black people out here. But my thing is the fact that what do you do with your education? It's, it's more than this theory. It's about, you know, applying it to your everyday life and instilling those principles into your children so they can be better than you. So 
I want to hear from the community and everybody that's a subscriber or that's a non-subscriber on my channel. I want to know what you think. Do you feel that Black History Month has some negative implications outside of the community? Please share your thoughts and, you know, and also check out my Black History Month playlist. Like two years ago, I did a playlist every day, like Black History videos of Black prominent leaders that you never heard of. You know, great information. So if you ever want to check it out, check that out. Um, post your comments below. Host Smash Black Panther. The like button. Subscribe to my channel. Click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. If you want to support and donate to the channel, I have Patreon. Patreon.com slash Kofi Universe. Venmo, Cash App, PayPal, Streamlabs, everything's in the description. Until next time, salute. If you're looking for me to react to any song freestyle video, that's $20 per reaction. For sponsorships, that's $50 minimum. Also, hoax smash Black Panther the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. Also, if you want to become a Patreon member, patreon.com slash Kofi Universe. Venmo, Cash App, PayPal, Streamlabs, everything's in the description, y'all. Salute.